Hi, I'm Ross Callaghan and I've just finished making another ship model. This is the Baltimore Clipper, the Harvey, from 1847. And it uh, came with an Isimio kit, a 1 to 130 scale. So this is a Chinese brand kit. I thought originally that this would be a good starter kit for people to make, but I've, I've discovered that, yes, I've made a beautiful model, but it's actually not a starter kit because the instructions that come with the kit are more or less useless. Just one piece of paper and no instructions. There are pictures, but they don't really tell you what to do. Also, there is a sail plan for cutting the sails here, but the sails are um, not, to, not the right shape and some of them are missing. Fortunately, I found online some instructions that gave me the details that I needed. Anyway, the end result is a really lovely little model. I'm very proud of it and it looks really fantastic. So I thought I'd show you the steps that were involved in making this model and um, give you a few pointers as to what happened along the way. The parts in the kit are all laser cut and quite intricate and small. First of all, I, I pushed all of them out and then constructed the keel and the frames and then did the um, sides um, using um, planking. Now the planks that were involved were easy to um, manipulate and fairly quickly I was able to construct the hull. I decided to paint the hull before I started doing the next phase. And so once that was completed, started making all of the little uh, bits and pieces that go on the deck. These are really terrific. There's lovely little, little, little parts that were made in, as part of the deck furniture and buildings. So at this stage, the, uh, the basics of the hull were all completed. Then I um, created the, the masts, two masts, and the spars, and then started to create the sails. Um, once I found a suitable plan for the sail shape and size, I cut them out and then I glued them because they're pretty small and too difficult to manipulate. The sails have come out really nice. So I created all the fixed rigging and then um, that was not too difficult, made some nice little rat lines there and then finally it was putting the sails onto the fixed rigging and attaching everything in its final position. And again that came together much more quickly than larger models that I've done. And I think the end result is a really lovely model. It looks very um, smart looks very professional and all of the different particularly all the different pieces on the deck there they make it look really lovely so there you are that's my model of uh, the harvey 1847 oh, i'm very proud of it i think it looks lovely i hope you um, have a go at making a model like this yourself sometime and that this video is helpful for you in that